Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley. If you're new to my channel, what's up? So today I wanted to film a just like chill, creative video. I was going through my Instagram and I saw this picture here. Let me show it to you. So I saw this picture. I made this back in like 2018. And if you look at it, it just basically looks kind of like a mask within my face and it's just using makeup. So I thought it'd be fun if I can maybe recreate this look, not necessarily the makeup, but the idea of it, of just trying to create like a mask on my face. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's see if I can pull it off and uh, let's just zoom in and get started. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes. So I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. Now this is in the shade Fair Warm. Now, this is actually a really light concealer, but that's fine because I want this look to be dramatic. Also, I want to apologize because my nails are looking so freaking gross right now, but we are in quarantine, okay? And like, I just gotta do what I do, okay? And I'm gonna use a concealer brush just to blend this out. Now for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the P. Louise primer. This is in the shade Rumor 02. And I'm just going to use my ring finger to blend this out. So I'm going to put it all over the lid as well as underneath right here. <laughs> because um, I'm going to be working on the under eye as well. And my eyelids right now are stained pink because... I did a pink eyeshadow look the other day, and I actually said in that video, I think my eyes are going to be stained after this, and yep, I was right. With this JH33 brush, I'm going to go in with this brown right here, and I'm going to use this to go over the crease as well as the outer part of the eye. So just go in, boo. Go all the way in. I have been having such a hard time, like, going to sleep these couple of days, but I've been watching so much Grey's Anatomy. Like, I better finish Grey's Anatomy before I have to go back to work. Like, I have to finish that show. It's so good, I need to know more. But I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm at because I don't know where you guys are at and I don't wanna like, you know, spoil it for you. Now with this JH40 brush, it has some of that brown color and I'm gonna be applying this right here to really intensify this here to create that like V you can say. And oh my gosh, I had the hugest freaking pimple right next to my nose piercing and y'all didn't even tell me? That was rude as hell. I don't even understand how I didn't even see that. So if you see that it's a little bit red, it's cause I just freaking popped it. And maybe I'm just crazy, but I don't know if you guys watch uh, Dr. Pimple Popper on YouTube, but every single time i watch her videos i swear to you i wake up with like a huge freaking pimple somewhere on my face somewhere in my body like somewhere i just like get a huge pimple and i just think it's so freaking weird now with this morphe e27 brush it doesn't have anything i'm just gonna use this to buff this color out make sure it gets nice and smooth with this morphe m441 brush i'm gonna grab this color right here and I'm just gonna use this to buff out the outer part of the eye a little bit more. That way there's still a little bit of a hue transitioning from that shade outward. So just gonna soften up the outer part of the eye. Back with the JH33, whatever is left on that brush with that brown color, I'm just gonna go over the crease and out a little bit more. With this JH37 brush, I'm gonna grab this brown right here. And I'm going to use that to darken up the outer part of the eye. So this is like a really, really dark brown color. It almost even looks black. It literally looks black. I had to like double check the palette, but the black is right underneath it. But I swear to you, I grabbed that dark brown. But it looks like black, right? Or am I tripping? Back with the JH33 and a little bit more of that brown. I'm just gonna go over again on the crease. Just going back and forth and in circular motions. Back with the E27, it doesn't have anything. I'm just gonna soften it up a little bit more. Cause it was starting to look a little bit too, what's the word I'm looking for? Like too precise. I need to be a little bit just more smooth. So circular motions. Whenever it's left on the brush with that really dark brown, I'm just kind of pulling this color outward a little bit more. 
With this flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to grab this color right here. And I'm going to be applying this all over the lid. I didn't feel like cleaning up the lid because I just feel like this color is really good and it's going to pop no matter what. But if you want it to be a little bit more intense um, and brighter, then maybe you can clean up your eyelid and that's going to help. But I just, you know, honestly, I was lazy too, so I didn't, I didn't feel like doing that, okay? I'm going to go back in with the JH33. I didn't grab more of that lighter brown. I'm just going over with whatever's left on here, more on the inner part of the eye. That way there's not like a huge harsh line there. And then back with the JH37 brush, whatever's left with the darker brown, I'm just blending the outer part of the eye. So that's why it's like a smoother transition. I have a little bit more of that darker brown and I'm just going to go over it on the outer part of the eye to darken it a little bit more. The JH40 brush, I have some of that lighter brown and I'm really gonna focus this underneath the lash line to intensify and smoke out this look. This is the JH42 brush. I grabbed some of that darker brown and I'm really gonna focus this. Kind of like just tapping it on to the lower lash line because I don't want to see gaps. Then I grab some of that lighter brown with the JH40 and now I'm going to go over it again underneath because I don't want it to be like a harsh line. So I need to smoke this out a little bit more. Now this is the NYX Liquid Black Eyeliner. I'm going to go in and do some eyeliner work now. I'm just going to go in. I'm not even going to think about it because I feel like every single time I think about eyeliner, I get nervous and I'm just like... You know, eyeliner can either make or break the look in the sense of how you apply it. And, um, I'm not the best with eyeliner. I'm gonna be straight up. I'm gonna give it to you straight. I used to be so freaking good at eyeliner. Just, I stopped doing it and now I just suck at doing it. So I'm gonna go into foundation. This is the Tarte Double Duty Foundation. This is in the color Night night <laughs> light neutral so i'm just going to be applying this on this half of the carita i used to use this all oh by the way yes i already did apply primer i did that before i started the look but i'm just going to focus this here and here so i'm going to be using this is the sigma flat kabuki f80 brush for some reason from like when i first saw it in my makeup brush display. I thought it was a MAC one because of the bristles, but <laughs> I was obviously wrong. Just gonna blend this out and then I'm gonna clean it up with some makeup remover in a little bit. But damn, my face is so dry. So I used a Q-tip just to blend out the eyeshadow over here. That way it didn't look like too much. And then having that eyeliner kind of helped because it kind of lifted the eye a little bit. And to me, this is just art right now. I'm not even going to care how the texture of my skin is looking because <laughs> it's making me a little bit angry. And the fact that this concealer is like so light too, what am I thinking? What the f are you thinking today, Ashley? Really? I would like to know, what is your thought process for today? With this MAC 286 brush, I'm just going to use this to blend out the concealer. I'm using this because it helps me control a little bit more how I want to blend it underneath the eye, specifically because I already have eyeshadow in, so that way it's not going to go in all the way in. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the under eye area with some powder, and I'm using the Maybelline in the shade, what shade is this? This is the Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 10. So I'm just using that with this Morphe JH07. For the rest of the face, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Pressed Powder in Translucent. And I'm going to be using the JH01 brush to set the rest of my face. With this JH41 brush, I'm going to grab this color right here. And I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. Yes, look at that. Highlight though. I have this MAC Black Eyeliner Pencil, and I'm going to use this to outline my mask now. So I'm going to go... Ooh, I always have a crooked hand. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm just going to go in.
I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin a little bit. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm gonna be using this uh, JH05 brush and I'm just gonna apply some bronzer right here on the cheeks. This eye look is actually really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna blend this out? <laughs> I swear, I feel like everything that can possibly go wrong went wrong, but that's okay. I'm not gonna let this video flop. It's gonna be fine. Gonna put a little bit on the nose, but not really that much since the mask is already around the nose area. I don't really need to contour that that much because if not, it's gonna look a little bit crazy. With the translucent powder from earlier, I'm just gonna use it to clean here a little bit because I feel like it's looking a little harsh there. And then also up here a little bit. But for blush, I'm gonna be using the MAC bronzer. This is from the Patrick Star collection and this is in Take Me Home. And I'm using a JH04 brush. I'm just gonna grab some of that and focus it on the apples of the cheeks. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using this Laura Geller highlighter. This is called Peach Glow. And I'm gonna be using the Anastasia A23 brush to apply some highlight. So I'm gonna be applying this right here. We're almost basically done with like the makeup in itself, but I need to work on the outline. So I grabbed this brush. This is the Morphe M508 brush. And I grabbed some of that black eyeshadow from the palette. And I'm just gonna go over the outline with this black eyeshadow, but going back and forth and kind of just like diffusing it a little bit, like intensifying it a little bit more, but like just buffing it out so it doesn't look just like a straight line, if that makes any sense. For lashes, I ended up using these Coco Lashes in the Style Fifth Avenue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that black eyeliner on the top water line. And as well as the lower lash line since I want this to be like a dark smoky look. I'm going to go back in with the JH42 brush. It has a little bit of that dark brown that we used and I'm basically just going to tight line again. Because I noticed that there's a little bit of a gap and I need to make sure that it blends a little bit better. I'm going to be using this Jordana Deep Purple. And this is going to be my lip liner. And I'm just going to line half of my lip. And I'm sorry you can hear all this background noise. And I can't control it. Now with this NARS Liquid Lipstick, this is called London Calling. I'm just going to go over the lips. I'm gonna use this Lorac Pro Pomade to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. And then there's just a few more things we have to do and then we'll be done. I have a makeup wipe right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. I'm trying to get as close to the black as I can, but you don't wanna interfere with the black cause it's gonna get messy. So we need this finishing touch. So this is a white eyeliner. This is from Rimmel. And I'm just going to put this. So I'll put some under the brow bone. Let me just get some out. Okay, there you go. And this is just going to help create like dimension. This is the look. I am so, so, so sorry for all the complaining that I did in this video. I didn't mean to, but I was in a time crunch and then I feel like every single thing that could have gone wrong, went wrong. My freaking, you know, pimple by my nose ring and then my time crunch and then the makeup was like cracking and stuff, but that's fine. The outcome came out really freaking good. I'm really obsessed right now. With this, oh my gosh, it looks really, really good. This actually can be like a cool Halloween look, actually, I think so. Um, but you know, the power of makeup. But this is 
Oh my god, I I'm, I'm keep staring at myself because it just looks so freaking good. But thank you for joining me. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell button to get notified whenever I upload new videos. I don't want you to miss out. Comment down below. Let me know. Are you going to be, you know, creating your own little face and mask let me know down below what are your thoughts on this look also let me know what other palette or what kind of video you guys want me to film next i love to interact with you guys and if you guys aren't already make sure to follow me on instagram snapchat tiktok i post little previews of what i'm filming and all the goody good stuff and again thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye